Hey everyone, this is Daniel Trahan with Research Computing, and I'll be giving you a quick look on how to access CU Boulder Research Computing resources. In this video, we will go over how to log into Research Computing's network, as well as go through the very basics of what you can expect when logging in. To start, you will need to have a terminal or SSH client installed on your local machine. Mac and Linux users should have access to a terminal by default, while Windows users may have to install some external software to remotely access Research Computing's network. Users must also have created a Research Computing account by navigating to colorado.edu slash rc and clicking request an account to use RC resources in the center of the page. Follow the steps presented in the account creation page to create your Research Computing account. Users must also have access to Duo two-factor authentication before accessing RC resources. This can be installed on a smart device, and you will gain access to this when you create your research computing account. Starting with Mac and Linux, the first thing that we need to do is access the terminal installed in their operating system. Mac users should be able to find this by clicking on Finder. Applications, Utilities, and finally Terminal. Linux users should refer to their distribution documentation to locate and open a terminal. Once the terminal has been opened, go ahead and type the command ssh your rc username at login.rc.colorado.edu. Go ahead and run this command. You'll be prompted for a password. Go ahead and type in your identity password and go ahead and press enter. This will go ahead and send a Duo notification to your mobile device that you will have to validate. After validation, you will be forwarded to a research computing login node where you can begin accessing your desired resource. Windows users have numerous options to remotely access research computing resources. These include installing an SSH client on their local machine, running through PowerShell, or with the Windows subsystem for Linux. This video will cover logging in through the use of an SSH client, so check out some of the links in our description to find tutorials on other methods to remotely log into a server. Let's begin by installing PuTTY, a popular Windows SSH client to our local machine. Go ahead and navigate to putty.org and click the download link located here. Go ahead and choose the appropriate installer. Wait for it to conclude downloading. And go ahead and open the installer. Follow the installation prompts and install the application. Once the application is installed, then we can set up our remote access. Open the application. And in the hostname field, type login.rc.colorado.edu. Putty users also have access to save this address within the client by providing a name to the session in the Save Session field and clicking Save. Let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and give this the name RC and click Save. After saving a session, all a user would need to do is click the name of the session that they'd wish to restore and click load. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that for us here. I'll go ahead and delete the host name, click RC, and press load. Regardless of how you manage PuTTY, you can then connect to Research Computing by clicking the open button. This will open up a small window prompting you for a username. Type your Research Computing username and press enter.
You will then be prompted for a password. Type in your identity key password and press enter. A duo prompt will be sent to your mobile device that you must validate to complete logging in. Once you've accepted the duo prompt, you will then be logged into a research computing login node where you can begin accessing your desired resources. If you have any questions about the login procedure or have any issues in accessing RC resources, contact rc-help at colorado.edu for more information.